EMC to show that they can ride a good team time trial. I think that'll be that'll be the first target because that'll be the first real GC yellow jersey. And the tour that'll be my only grand tour for next year. Um, maybe a few years down the road, I'll uh, maybe try a different one. But um, for me, I'm still young. I don't want to. Yeah, Thank you. So Burn myself. Thank you. TJ, I'm um, speaking to um, Jim and Simon, and you said that um, the team are going with Dale as the outright leader and you as the vice captain. Is that something that you're, you would support with, or is it a joint leadership that you're looking for? I mean, Cadell's the leader. He's won the tour. Um, this year he had a bit of health problems, um, but I think he's gotten that sorted out. So if he comes back healthy, he can win the tour again. Uh, but whatever decision we make in the race is going to be the decision that's best, benef most beneficial to the team. So if he has the same kind of struggles that he has this year, Cadell will have no problem, you know, passing the leadership role to me. And uh, and if he's good, I have no problem working for him. Does it somewhat take the pressure off you a little bit going in there, knowing that you know, for the next eight months or so, we'll be longer that, that Cadell will be the, the main focus of the media, that he will be the, putting him forward as the main team leader? Yeah, I think so. Um, I think that's actually what helped me have such a successful tour this year, was that I didn't have any pressure. I just kind of stepped into the role once, uh, you know, based on events. Um, when Cadell started struggling, I just went ahead and um, yeah, the spotlight wasn't on me, so it was uh, gave me a more relaxed approach. I mean, realistically, what are your ambitions, your personal ambitions for next year's tour? Putting aside the issue of Cadell, and you want to go there and improve on top top five and get onto the podium. Well, um, I just take the whole the, the season as a whole, and um, I want to win some sort of stage race throughout the year, maybe Paris East, maybe California. As far as the tour ambitions specifically goes, uh, I'm still eligible for the white jersey. I'd be happy to win that one more time, but I'd be even happier if someone in the team wins uh, wins the tour. Sure. And what for you stands out in this year's race? There's less time trial in than, than last year, one of them was a time trial, and then obviously you just expect the climate to win this year, next year. This year. Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely... There's a lot of mountains, but um, when I was, I was actually surprised at the course. I was expecting it to be a bit harder than it actually is. I mean, there were rumors of there being of it being a complete mountains race. We still have two pretty long time trials, and a lot of those climbs they're more steady, suited to more of a a, a grind out one tempo kind of climber rather than an explosive climber. Yeah. Um, so I think, yeah, it's pretty dynamic, but um, I like it. I think it's pretty well suited. We, we know that you're an ambitious rider, that you want to progress quickly. I mean, one way to, to perhaps solve that would be to, in terms of Grand Tour ambitions, would be to move away from the Tour for a year and look at the Giro or the Vuelta, where you would be an outright leader and a potential chance to, to lead a team without any issues of leadership. Was that, was that a theory or something you've discussed? Uh, it, was, it was something that we've discussed, uh, but... Um, yeah, the tour is a tour, and not the other two Grand Tours conflict with the American races. Um, so there was, so the team was thought it was pretty important that we go to California and Colorado, um, and you know, at a, to be a part of a tour-winning team, even if it's if it's Cadell, that would make me pretty happy. Sure. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome.